Lionar versus Vitruvian, we are going second. Alright, this seems like a good hand, we'll confirm. Because we can start out with the Ethereal Obelisk into a Pax, and then go to a Trigon maybe. But, uh, or we can just do it with, like a Whisper of the Sands if we need to, or even a First Wish. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when what the opponent plays, and probably just going to be an Ethereal Obelisk into a Pax turn 1. Alright, a celebrant. To get that mana. Into a Zix. Okay. Is this a swarm liner? Anyways, uh, let's just go forward. We'll play this up uh, that they're all this here. And I guess we can play a Pax here. And then we'll end our turn. Alright, we got a lava storm obelisk. That seems nice, but he's probably gonna move all this thing, so we can't really play the Lava Storm to counter. Shiro Puppy Dragon. Oh, that's a thing. Get these things are gonna get all buffed. Well, we have to get rid of the Shiro somehow. And a Sun Wisp. Tooth. Ooh. Well, uh, not, I'm, I'm, nothing's gonna die on the opponent's side. I see what he's trying to do, trying to bolt on everything up. Uh, this is gonna be annoying, isn't it? So the Battle Pet's going to attack the Zix. It's gonna be a 2 1. Alright, we got two two twos, but this is probably gonna die next turn. Uh, let's see what we can do. We can move ourselves back one and play like the lava storm. I mean, we can't we can't kill the Shiro with what we have in our hands. Uh, uh, let's see what we can do. We can kill the Sunwisp at the very least. Move this down. Play the lava storm here. Then we can just do a whisper of the sands to see where the, the thing spawn. Alright, so we can at the very least kill one six. Or yeah, we can kill one six. Trade that, trade that. Now we got a fireblaze all the shame that we can't play, but it is what it is, we'll end our turn. So I'm pretty sure the Ethereal Obelisk is going to die, not by the General's hands, but with the two minions, or even with the Shiro. Alright, a roar. So, is he gonna kill the obelisk with just that? Maybe? Yeah, okay. I don't know if he's gonna use a Shiro, but he's clearing my board, that's for sure. <laughs> Good. It's a 3-5 slow. Well, that sucks, but uh, let's see what we can do. We can't, we can't even use this, so we can do a bone storm to get rid of the Zix, at the very least. 
Um, can't really do anything else. I should play like a Fire Blaze Obelisk, so we'll just go up here. Play a Fire Blaze up here. Then do a Bone Swarm to kill the Zix. Then we'll end our turn. Alright, we got another Trigon. Let's see what we can do. I can't really do much. He can't really kill the Lava Storm. But that slow is going to be super annoying unless if I get like a Blood of Air so I have to replace a Trigon. This is not a good uh, position for me. Holy Immolation. Oh, there goes that Lava Storm Obelisk. And my health too. Alright, let's replace this Trigon. And we got a Blood of Air, which is good. Oh, we have to, we have to Blood of Air this a slow. And then we can, let's see, and kill this Warblade. We can kill this Celebrant, and then we can just silence his first wish to kill off the Shiro. I know the Dervish is going to disappear, but we have to do that, so trade, we'll end our turn. So now I have one Fireblaze Obelisk, and I'm going to keep the Grandmaster just because we're getting to that point where we can play it, but next turn is probably going to just be like a Trigon Falcius type of deal. That is a Dream Gazer, alright. Into what else? The opponent does have three cards, or three cards in his hand, six mana, plus roar, so that could be annoying. Trinity, oh, tr more card draw, more health. That's not good. So we're down by eight. We'll see what the opponent does with two mana. They're always just past turn. At least he's going to attack the obelisk for sure. I'm, I'm playing a bit. I mean, why not? It's a free two attack. Yep. Into a roar dream gazer, okay. You know, I'm stunned so I can't attack the dream gazer, so I have to use the dervish to attack and unless if it spawns in a different location. Uh, so we'll just go over here, kill that thing. I think we just play a trigon here. Then we have three mana, but we can't really use the Falchia, so we'll just do a blood burn spell. Next turn we'll probably just play Nostrak, assuming the trigon stays alive. No wonder turn. I got a Theria Obelisk. Alright, the opponent does have 5 cards, 7 mana, while we have 3. But I'm just probably gonna play Nostrak, go from there, see what happens. He's probably gonna, he's definitely gonna kill the Fireblaze Obelisk somehow. Because I don't see him attacking me or the one with more health. Whereas he can just easily kill the Fireblaze Obelisk, so. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna lose that Fireblaze for sure. Uh, by the end of his turn. <laughs> yep, there goes that obelisk. Jack's true side. That's a thing. 
You only get three though, but that's still super annoying. We can kill two. One this over here, one this over here, one this up there. So we utilize our obelisks, or we utilize our dervishes. Um, let's see. You just play a Grandmaster Nostrak here. Kill that. Kill that. Move this up here to do 8 damage to the general. Just do that. Do that. So now we're both at 14. And then we'll end our turn. Alright, Inner Oasis. So, I mean, he still has two mini jaxes, which is still really annoying to deal with. Because they're both ranged and they're at the corners, but at least the Notra can kill one of them. Assuming if it's not dispelled or whatever. But uh, we still have the, we also have the Trigon Obelisk, so he can't just uh, Sun Bloom both at the same time. Unless he, unless if he wants to use two, which I don't know what he has in his hands, but yeah, we'll see. Alright, a Celebrant. Into another Zex, so it's basically like the opening stage or something, I don't know. Into a Sun Wisp. Alright, I mean, this has flying, so. Holy Immolation. Out of my face. That's a four. So let's see, we can do 8 plus however many we can do with this. Let's see, uh, we can do 4, we can do 4, so yeah we have lethal. So we can do, go over here and do 4 more, do lethal, and then we'll just fly the Noshrak over to his face, and then attack him for 8. That was close, like, if we didn't have the Nostrak, we definitely would have lost, but... Man, that Swarm Lionar, or Swarm-ish Lionar, very aggro. Luckily, we were able to deal with that, so, yeah, that was a pretty good game. I think there was back and forth, but uh, it could be just the opponent just getting a big board position while we just cleared the board after he does that, so... Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty interesting game.